Welcome back to Pole Position Raceway in Grimes. We are in the midst of a world record being broken, not only broken, hopefully going to be shattered here today for the longest distance travel in a go-kart, an electric go-kart in 24 hours. We have owner of Pole Position Raceway, Mark Bunnell, uh, joining us uh, right now. And uh, the progress uh, since 8 o'clock last night is phenomenal, Mark. Uh, you guys have insurance, don't you? Yeah, we're at already 550 laps, so we're 63% done. So right. we think around 4 o'clock we're hopefully going to match the record, and then we'll have four hours to uh, extend it out. Yeah, and the uh, whole idea is to get the record and then make it so it's uh, unattainable for somebody else, right? I just want to make sure that anybody else would look at it and go, we're not that crazy. <laughs> we're not going to do it. Now, we are in a room that hopefully at 8 o'clock tonight or at 7.59 tonight, celebration mode is going to be in full gear because this is your banquet room, and this is something you guys have added onto your place out here in Grimes that is really super. Yeah, we have meeting rooms. We can host events up to 200. Um, this room here will seat about 80, and then we have three or four other rooms available. Uh, two of the rooms can be hooked together, and uh, it's a great place to have an event. We do all kinds of fundraising. We work with uh, a different charity every month. All right, uh, and that's the whole that's the whole idea. You're giving back to what the community has to offer too. You're offering a really nice, safe facility here and a family-friendly facility. And we just look at around and see some of the things. I see the Animal Rescue League being represented well here with a little doggy here. Uh, what's your relationship with them? Uh, Animal Rescue League, we help them, help them all the time that we can, but they were last month's uh, charity of choice. We had Variety Club the month before that. This, club, this month is Train to Inspire, which we're going to donate some money to from this event. And uh, we choose a charity every month to work with, and we love to raise money for people. All they have to do is say they're racing for their charity, and we give the charity $5 of every race. See, it's, it's really simple. It's an easy thing that you do and when you come out here. Now, tell us about the, this month's charity. Uh, what's, they, what's that involved? Uh, like I said, when they come out and them, we give them $5, and then we throw in some extra at the end. Train to Inspire is a group that is based in Altoona which you maybe even know them. Uh, but they uh, work with people of all kinds of disabilities. They come out here and go go-karting. Uh, we have blind, we have you name it. Any disability, they'll take anyone at, at their events. They just had a huge event, um, similar obstacle, obstacle course, uh, like a triathlon. Right, yes, yeah. again, an amazing organization. And just by sa saying that you want to donate to them, five bucks uh, gets uh, put in their, in their pool, correct? Yes, for sure. And then we do special things. We have the facilities here so you can do uh, fundraisers. We work with uh, all kinds of different organizations that have uh, banquets with us and auctions, silent auctions in the room, live auctions, raise money racing, you pay to race, maybe have a racing program to get people involved. We work with, with anybody. We, we, we like charities. It's a full service facility here. Now, speaking of full service, you have to go into full service mode at it with a Guinness Book of World Record attempt. You can't just say, I did so many laps. Everything has to be documented. Let's go over here, Chris, and we're going to show you the, how things are documented. Uh, Mark, what are we looking at over here at the counter, the newly wrapped yeah, thanks, Budweiser. Uh, <laughs> anyway, every lap has to be written down. There's a clock over there that times exactly how long we've been racing now for 13 hours, 32 minutes, and 54 seconds. And they write down every lap has to be documented by two independent witnesses, and they have they can only work four-hour shifts. So we had a little bit of a time finding people to do this, but luckily uh, we, know, we know enough people that wanted to come help. Do you still need some assistance in uh, people volunteering uh, to be witnesses for the event? You mentioned two unrelated volunteers, right? Yeah, it's it's four-hour shifts. This one runs till noon. I, we I, we always think we have everything covered, but our next one starts at noon to four, and then four to eight. It's always good to have somebody else come in if they want to do it, because. Uh, some of them are our, our employees or friends of employees or dads of employees. <laughs> and uh, that way we can have them do some other things and somebody can sit and have fun writing down times and laps and cart numbers. It is like old scoring. This is yeah. the way scoring used to be, folks, uh, in racing and motorsports. Usually had somebody on top of the pit box. Every lap had to get a stopwatch and had to record every single lap before the electronic days uh, come upon us. But this is the old school here, but it has to be documented. Now we're going to walk over here. This is old school by documenting it with pen and paper mark but something else that is really cool that is going on is that people can watch this event they can witness this live in real time yeah for sure they can witness it live uh, we've got uh, speed shift tv here there's also a scoreboard that runs every lap down to the thousandth of a second 
So you can watch it on, and it's included online. He'll show us down here how it works. All right. So Basically. this is Matt from Speed Shift TV. Uh, he has been here since the uh, the program began. And what time, uh, Matt? What time did you guys have to start getting set up here uh, to, to document this and to broadcast this? Uh, we started getting set up uh, yesterday around four o'clock, um, getting our stuff up top, cameras, a couple backups that we put up up top just in case anything were to happen to go blank. Because yeah, you don't want the people at Guinness World Records, you know not being able to see the footage that we're uh, trying to capture. Right, so you can see all the different cameras that you have here, you have the backup cameras. Chris, you want to show all this over here from Speed Shift, and Toby does such a great job with this whole company and making motorsports more accessible here in Iowa and across the country to everybody. But uh, how much arm twisting did it take you to get, uh, for you to come out here to witness this event? Uh, actually, I just got a message saying, hey, do you want to go do uh, 24 Sure, uh, <laughs> what is it? Thought they were joking. Yeah, okay. And then they told me it's for a Guinness Book of World Records, and I'm like, well, another thing to pad the old. Uh, Put on your resume. Yeah, the resume. So I, I came on out and glad to be here, and having a lot of fun so far. Right. Yeah, they have a camper out back, so you guys are taking uh, little naps in the, in the back over here. Mark, uh, people have been going nonstop since eight o'clock last night. Uh, you know, tip of the hat to your guys and gals that are out here working, just working their tails off. Yeah, everybody's doing a wonderful job. Um, I've got my best customers racing. One of them's raced here 745 times before today. So how do I not invite him, right? Right. Happens to be the, one of the fastest guys I have and can race two to three hours on his own by himself. Uh, Plaza RV gave us an RV. We can go take a little nap. All right. And, uh, Perfect. Now, we mentioned Speed Shift TV is here. People want to link up and see the, the live feed from Speed Shift. What's the easiest way to do so? They can go to their uh, their YouTube channel or we have a link to it on our Facebook page, uh, Pole Position Raceway Des Moines. All right, so we are here. We're witnessing a Guinness Book of World's record being shattered here. That's the whole idea. Hopefully by 4 o'clock this afternoon, but we'll continue until 7.59 tonight. You want to come out here to Grimes and witness it for yourself. You're invited to do so. Come on out and join the simulators. But you know what we want to do? These cars are driving around here. They're racing around here. We're going to have to get behind the wheel of one of these and then show you these carts up close and personal. Mark talked about the gasoline-powered carts he started with over at Sprocket so many years ago. These are totally different. We're going to show you those carts up close next right here on Iowa Live.